Hello everyone. Welcome to So Lovely with Grace. I'm Grace and today it's another Friday Sews. I got my mug from Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room. She has merch. Today is actually Sunday because we were all at the Sewing Expo in Lakeland, Florida. It started Thursday and ended yesterday. So I received my mug before I left for the expo and now I get to show it off here. Isn't it gorgeous? And I also put on the back here, so lovely with grace, so inspired. Thank you, Jen. And it was wonderful to meet you, Trish, Carol, and Christine, and Carmen at the expo. We had such a great meeting. It was wonderful. So today, I'm going to give you a vlog of the expo. It's a mishmash of videos, photos, everything I did and saw, and where I went, what I ate, you know, whatever I felt like recording at the time. So I hope you enjoy this vlog. The beginning of this vlog is before the expo when I was preparing some gifts for Trish, Jen, and Carol. I wanted to make something special for them for their sewing room. And I made these little post-it note caddies. This post-it note caddy, it has your name, or you can embroider whatever you want. Grace's notes, Grace's list, ideas, whatever shopping list. And I put the post-it note here and the pen here. And it's made, this is plastic. It's made from those photo frames, the four by six photo frames. This just happens to be Tom and I. But this is a four by six photo frame that you could buy anywhere at Kmart. Or, and that's the construction of that. So I'm going to show you a little clip of how I made those. The next project I'm going to make are these little, uh, like little post-it caddies for your desk in your sewing room. I like these because you put your pen in here or marker. You can write some notes here, a uh, pattern number. I can write a list, a little post-it note. You can tear it off and it's just a really cute thing I can make on my embroidery machine. And I picked out this novelty fabric. This is an avocado pattern. How adorable with this yellow uh, thread that goes on the green. That'll look nice. And I have this aquatic fabric. This is another novelty. All these are from Joann's. And I think I'll use yellow with this blue for the uh, letters. And then this novelty flamingo fabric. And the pink with the white thread. So I'm going to make three of these and then put post-it notes in them and a pen. And that's a great gift. I finished the post-it note holders that I created on my embroidery machine. This one is for So Carol. This one is Trisha's from Pinky's Farm. And then this one is for Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. We're turning into the RP Funding Center here in sunny Lakeland, Florida for the Expo. Looks like a long line to get in. Oh no. Well, hopefully we'll be in soon. It's 10 a.m. and that's when it opens. We're waiting in line here at the RP Funding Center. Coming into the center. No food. Have to eat here, and today they're gonna have a super prize drawing for a sewing machine. Look at that! Wow, that's pretty cool. I just entered Baby Lock for the love of sewing. Wow, this is my dream embroidery machine the Baby Lock Altair. Look at that hoop size. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, someday. So when I went to the expo, I brought my little handheld camera recorder and I had to carry it in something. So I decided to bring this bag that I made. I made this bag like last summer and it's called the Poppins bag. It has these handles and the bottom with the feet that I put on. It's 
this hard Peltex. And uh, it has dual zipper, lots of space. I absolutely love and all these pockets. So I was able to put my camera in there and my phone and you know, what else? I didn't know what they were gonna have if they had anything to carry stuff in, but they did. They had a bag. This is the bag they passed out with admission. So I didn't really need to carry my good, you know, flamingo bag, but I brought it and I got a lot of comments. One of the comments I received about this bag was from someone named Adam. He was a gentleman, he came up to me, just admired my bag, and I said, wow, thanks. And he had a little bag too. So I'm gonna show you a clip of Adam, of his little, it's just a little bag that he puts his sewing notions in. But it was just so nice to meet him. Hopefully. Hello, Adam. This is a beautiful bag, and I love the Mickey Mouse stipple. Well, I hope this comes out. Nice to meet you, Adam. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. I moved the camera because the sun is so bright. But what I wanted to say is Auntie's 2, the Poppins bag, the pattern here that I have, they had their own exhibit. And I have a little clip of that. Let me show you that. So they're selling the Poppins bag pattern here, just like mine. Here we are. This is the big one I have. All the Poppins bags. Some clips of shopping at the expo and an exhibit showing Nancy Zeman in a quilt. It was truly stunning. Look, they have a wall dedicated to Nancy Zeman celebrating 40 years of sewing with Nancy. Oh, so beautiful. I grew up with Nancy, learning from Nancy. So, Stastic Top Star of Quilting in honor of Nancy Zeman. Oh, I love it. This whole wall is dedicated to her with all these beautiful quilts. Absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. Love. How sweet. Valentine basket quilt. Beautiful. So here at the expo, they have a quilt from for Nancy Zeman. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And they even have her baby lock. Aww. This one, Nancy on the set. I used to watch her on PBS. Quilted by Lori Dickman. Nancy Zeman is an inspiration, and she is. So I just wanted to show you that at the expo. Very nice. This looks like the bargain bin. Got some buys here. Everybody's enjoying the shopping. Pretty cool. New York Fashion Cuts. Five dollars per yard. Wow, everybody's going at the piles here. Such a great deal. Claremont sewing and quilting. I'm gonna try and get this fabric here. And I think I'm gonna make the Baker Street bag with this pattern. I really like it. Hmm. Look at this diamond dot design. How beautiful. Wow. A lot of demonstrations here today at the expo. Now I have to say the food wasn't that great there and it was overpriced as you can imagine. But I was sitting at a table there alone eating and I was approached by Suzette and Doreen. They're uh, subscribers to my channel and it was just so pleasant to meet them. So they came and ate with me. So here's a little clip of them saying hello. 
Gift County. I'm having lunch here with Suzette and Doreen at the expo. Hey. Are you guys having fun? We are. We're Did you have a great time. Did you see anything you like? Uh, we haven't seen enough yet. Just classes. Yeah, we're taking classes. That's what I'm going to do. Classes. Yeah. yeah, we're just starting with the class. I haven't been at more than a couple of classes, but it's just fun because everybody's so cool. Isn't it? It's I fun. love it. And you guys are having salad just like me. Uh, yeah. Look at I, I got the Doritos pizza. too. No. Yeah, we need to look at the pizza. That's what I really want. Is that what you want? <laughs> oh, man. Want I just didn't want to. Uh, I like salad. But I'm glad you guys came and stopped by to say hello. Nice Hi. to meet you. All nice. right. Bye. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. I also ran into Deb from Deb's Way. And she has a YouTube channel I'd like to give a shout out to. She has Friday Sews and Tea Tuesdays, which I enjoy. We both share a love of gardening. So she was there with Cheryl from Ontario, Canada, and Winnie from Weemama, Florida. Here's a little clip. Okay, we're in the expo room stage here. Never been here, but it looks pretty cool. They're gonna have the fashion show here on Friday, and I bumped into these guys. And where are you guys from? What's your name and where are you from? My name's Cheryl, and I'm from Leamington, Ontario, Canada. What? Canada? Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> Great place to be, isn't it, Florida? <laughs> and what's your name? I'm Deb from Deb's Way. That's right. I'm from Florida. All right, Deb. And she has a sewing channel, too, on YouTube, which is really cool. I watch her Friday sews. So you guys, are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Isn't this awesome? Yeah. It's a sewer's dream. Well, thanks for stopping by, and let's continue to have some fun. Oh, we're gonna. I know it. <laughs> Hello, Winnie. Hi. Thanks for stopping by with Cheryl and Deb here at the Expo. Are we having fun today? Yes, we are. Okay. I'm bumping into so many friends. This is great. Well, happy shopping. Bye. All right. Okay, guys. Happy shopping. Oh, yeah. I don't see. Well, I didn't do as much shopping as I thought I would. I did a lot of browsing. I did a lot of sightseeing here and there, window shopping. But I ended up coming home with just two different fabrics. The first one I got was this ITY knit. It was $5 a yard. It has that vintage 70s look that I'm in love with. It has, let's see, peach, uh, cream or bone color, black, a caramel color. Um, it's absolutely stunning. I think I can make a big flowy dress with this. What do you think? Then the second fabric I got was from Claremont Sewing. It's the stripes with polka dots. Look how unique that is. It's black and a cream color. And I'm definitely going to make the Baker Street bag with that. That's a pattern I've used before. And I'm going to make a bag and I'm going to use decorative stitches. Wait till you see what I come up with with that. So that's really all the uh, shopping I did. I did a lot of browsing, but I didn't do a lot of purchasing. About the classes I took, hmm, I wasn't too impressed with any of them. Except for one, Jim Suzio's Collars and Cuffs class. Look at this detailed sheet of techniques on how to perfect your collars and cuffs and your buttonholes. He was very knowledgeable, very personable, entertaining, funny, and he just, it was just a great class. I enjoyed it so much and I learned a lot too. And I got to meet him and I got to get a photo with him. So that was a great, great class. If you ever take any, Jim Susio is the way to go. He's very in interesting and informative. He doesn't waste your time. And it's not like a sales pitch like some of the others. I mean, they were okay. The other class I liked was the embroidery class. She was pretty helpful. But other than that, I honestly, I signed up for six and I didn't show up for two of them. Just because there was so much other things to see and do and talk and I, next time, I won't even sign up for any classes and sign up when I get there because you just feel tied down when you're in a room for an hour. But uh, anyways, that's what I wanted to say. I love Jim. He was phenomenal. Highly recommend. So for dinner, we're going to check out this place called El Forno 
Italian restaurant. Hopefully it's good. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I gotta tell you, dinner at El Forno in Lakeland, Florida was a hit. I got the Fruta del Mar. It was loaded. Shrimp, clams, mussels, calamari, in a white wine sauce. Oh, it was delicious. And my husband got chicken parm. That's his favorite. That was a hit. And we went back there, in fact, the next day before we left to get pizza. That's how good it was. I'm 100% Italian. And I know good p pasta and good pizza crust. And my husband, he's Irish Danish. So uh, I just want to let you know, El Forno, if you're in Lakeland, Florida, Leaving the hotel now and going to the expo for day two. All right, guys, see you soon. This next clip was a great highlight. I got to meet Jen, Trish, Carol, Christine, and Carmen after the fashion show in the lobby. And what I was disappointed about was my husband Tom was taking photos of the group, which was wonderful. Everyone's handing him a camera and he's click, click, clicking away. But my camera was buried in my bag and he didn't realize that. So after we left, I didn't get a, a shot of everybody. It was great to meet everybody, but if someone has a photo that my husband took, if they could email it to me, I would greatly appreciate it. You could send it to so lovely with grace at gmail.com. Uh, but that's about it. But I had a great time meeting them. It was wonderful. And I just wanted to show you that short little clip. It was only, it's only a minute long. Hope you enjoy it. I'm English. I love my English. Are you sure? Are you <laughs> Irish? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Thank you. Say something. Hi, this is my friends, the greatest YouTubers in sewing, all of them. Hi. And I'm glad we're here today. We just left, well, we just left the expo and we are going to have some lunch before we go home. Back to El Forno. This time I want to try their pizza. So we just finished our lunch at El Forno. The pizza was divine. And across the parking lot, there's a Hobby Lobby. So guess what? I got to stop in. Let's see what they got. So I'm in the clearance at Hobby Lobby. And they got the counter books here. This one I already have. I just bought it. It's $4. It's the 2022 Simplicity counter book. And they have the McCall's with introducing Nomi. So there's a couple of them here. That's pretty cool. Ooh, what's this? Suede. Pretty cool. I'm looking around. Oh, they got some lace. It's like orange. It's kind of thick, though. I don't think so. <gasps> they got this fabric that I made my top out of. This knit. Only $4 a yard. I got a lot of that. Just seeing if there's anything new here. Anything interesting. This rib net looks pretty good. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what else they got today. Threads on sale, 99 cents. That's a good deal. Let's see. Oh, they got white. Oh, I'm going to pick up some white. Got to do it. And I found black. Ooh, jackpot. Get a couple of these. That's it, they only had two. Wow, getting those. So what I ended up with at Hobby Lobby was two blacks and two whites of thread for 99 cents each. Retail, look at this, 
349. That's a, wow, that's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 for th 4 bucks. That's awesome. And the good news is I ended up getting that velvet fabric that I had to return. Remember, I don't know if you watched that video, but I had some end of bolt fabric and I needed to get it. They had it there and they had it for 40% off. So I got my silky slinky velvet. So I'll be able to make that jacket. And finally, at the expo, I didn't get to show you, but on the embroidery machine at Baby Lock, my husband and I went to their uh, embroidery machine that I liked, and the guy was so kind, and I wrote my name on the screen. Hopefully you can see that. I wrote my name, and it embroidered, and I picked the design, and he stitched it out. Of course, he's trying to sell us that machine, which I really like, um, but, you know, I don't really need it. And uh, it was just so nice that I got that. So all in all, the expo was great. I really enjoyed it. Now that I've been there, now I know what to expect. Now I know what to avoid. And uh, I think next time, if I go again, um, it'll even be that much better. But the best part was meeting the people, bumping into people, just chatting with them, getting to know them, and just enjoying that experience. That's the part I like the best. And I really liked the uh, fashion show. I have a separate video for that because it's quite lengthy and my husband recorded that. What I do in that video is I get to model three garments. One that I made and two that Nick Corman designed. So that was a really good video. I hope you watch that one. And one last thing is I forgot to recognize Cammie. She's a subscriber that came up to me and we were chatting but she did not want to be on camera she was shy but I asked her what did she like about the channel and she said her favorite thing is the pattern reviews and the fabric reviews so she likes it when I um, get a pattern and make it describe it talk about pluses and minuses so uh, if you have any other input to this channel if there's anything else you like me to do I would be happy to try and do that. Um, anyways, I just wanted to say I enjoyed the expo and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And finally, I hope you were so inspired.